is Vladimir Putin the most dangerous man in the world? If you trust the same news sources that some British schoolchildren's teachers do, then yes. Perhaps it's a good thing that the kids aren't listening. When schools in Britain eventually reopen in September, children filling into the classrooms won't just be learning their reading, writing and arithmetic. On top of these fundamentals, their teachers will spoon-feed them blatant propaganda that would make her Goebbels blush. The propaganda source in question is The Day, a news site founded by a team of established journalists and directed at teens. Designed for use in the classroom, each of the day's stories is presented alongside a range of thought-provoking questions and exercises to help young people learn to think for themselves and engage with the world. Though UK-focused, the day is used in classrooms around the world as a teaching aid. A recent article describes Russian President Vladimir Putin as the most dangerous man in the world and suggests nothing can be done to bring this rogue state Russia to heel. Moscow's entire foreign policy is shameless, and Putin is described as a man who delights in stoking unrest in the West. The widely debunked accusations of Russian interference into the 2016 US election are treated as fact, as are the rumors that Putin meddled in the UK's Brexit referendum and in last year's general election. The children are also offered Bill Browder's opinion that Russia is a mafia state running a mafia operation. Browder, the site omits, is a magnate and fraudster who made billions of dollars in Russia during the privatization rush of the 1990s and reinvented himself as an anti-Putin activist once his revenue stream was cut off. Below the article, kids are asked to answer a number of questions, such as should Russia be expelled from the United Nations? And even to write a creative story about what it would be like to meet Putin during his KGB days. For good measure, the New York Times' recent evidence-free and widely criticized story claiming Russia paid bounties to the Taliban to kill U.S. troops in Afghanistan is suggested as further reading to help kids become an expert on all things Putin. The day does not bill itself as an anti-Russia think tank for kids. Quite the opposite. Ironically, its founder, Richard Addis, wanted to set up the site to fight deceptive journalism, hoaxes, slanted reporting and stories where the truth is contentious fake news in other words. He was supported in this quest by the British government's Commission on Fake News and the Teaching of Critical Literacy Skills in Schools, which partnered with the day to compile a damning report in 2018, revealing that only 2% of British youngsters have the critical thinking skills to spot phony news. It is clear that our schools are absolutely vital in encouraging children to burrow through the rubbish and riddle out the truth Ada said at the time. Stories on the site with titles like Putin the Terrible and Toxic Putin on Mission to Poison the West are clearly what Addis considers balanced journalism. Balance, however, is not a common trait among British Russia watchers. Parliament's long-awaited Russia report relies almost wholesale on allegations to back up its claim that Moscow poses a significant threat to the UK. The report even relies on articles by BuzzFeed to substantiate its shaky claims. As slanted as its coverage is, the day's message may fall on deaf ears. According to the same government report, only a quarter of older children actually trust the news they read online. As such, the day's propagandizing might all be in vain. The Russia report gives us an insight into the dearth of genuine expertise available to British officials on Russia. It also introduces a new style of investigation, seeking evidence to support predetermined judgments. On Tuesday, the British Parliament's Intelligence and Security Committee issued a 50-page report detailing its views on the danger Russia poses to British security. The security threat posed by Russia, the report says, appears fundamentally nihilistic, it is clear that Russia poses a significant threat to the UK on a number of fronts, from espionage to interference in democratic processes and to serious crime. The report further argues that the British intelligence community took their eyes off the ball and the government badly underestimated the Russian threat. In particular, the government and its intelligence agencies failed to investigate claims that the Russian state had interfered in the 2016 Brexit referendum. The government, however, has rejected the committee's demand that such an investigation now take place. The report's claims are alarming at first glance. When examined, however, they can be seen to lack evidentiary support. Instead, readers are repeatedly told that there have been widespread allegations and that it has been widely reported that the Russians are up to no good. But allegations are not evidence, and time after time the report fails to substantiate the suspicions it raises. For instance, the report declares there have been widespread public allegations that Russia sought to influence the 2016 referendum on the UK's membership of the EU. But the only evidence it provides to show that those allegations might be true is a reference to open source studies which point to pro-Brexit bias by the Russian broadcasters RT and Sputnik. The committee neither names the studies nor discusses whether their conclusions are valid. Apparently, the committee asked MI5 for evidence, but all it got in reply was six lines of text based also on open source studies. In short, no secret intelligence supporting the claims that Russia interfered with Brexit has been provided. This is rather embarrassing.
the committee has drawn a blank. But still, it presses on. There has been credible open source commentary suggesting that Russia undertook influence campaigns in relation to the Scottish independence referendum in 2014 it announces. The relevant footnote fails to say what this credible commentary is. Instead, it merely says that it was widely reported that Russians who had observed the Scottish referendum had suggested that there were irregularities in the conduct of the vote. But Russians complaining about the conduct of the vote do not constitute Russians trying to influence the campaign. After all, the observers in question said these things after the vote and so their statements could hardly have been an attempt to affect the outcome. It gives you a sense of what the committee considers a credible source to be. The committee goes beyond repeating unsubstantiated claims to making unspecified ones. In the UK, it says, numerous lawyers, accountants, estate agents and PR professionals have played a role, wittingly or unwittingly, in the extension of Russian influence, which is often linked to promoting the nefarious interests of the Russian state. No names are named, no evidence produced. All the committee provides is a quote from longtime anti-Russian campaigner William Browder, as if his bold assertions amount to incontrovertible proof. In 50 pages warning us of the evil influence Russia has over the UK, the report fails to provide a single documented example of this influence at work. In short, the entire premise of the report that Russia poses a significant threat to the UK is not only not proven, but also not even demonstrated in any tangible way. That perhaps explains why the committee has chosen to be so harsh on the British government, accusing it of failing to live up to its responsibility to defend the nation. It appears that the committee knows in its bones that all these things are true, but also knows that it lacks any evidence to prove them. The evidence is there, it's just that the government has failed to do its job and provide it. A proper intelligence investigation first finds the facts and then comes to a conclusion. It would seem as though the Intelligence and Security Committee wishes to go about it the other way it has already reached its conclusion, now it wants the government to provide the evidence. The government should not indulge this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Be well and until next time.